Alrighty, here we are. The last two weeks of the regular season, which means the last bit of regular season games get played and these conference tournaments start up and really get going. This will be the last college basketball video that I will do before Selection Sunday. We'll discuss everything after Selection Sunday. And then, you know, get on to the tournament. Get on the March Madness because this is March. We're here. Um, who knows how many games will get canceled between this week and next week. Many teams are fighting for the tournament lives. Many teams that are in smaller conferences that are number one seeds, you know, the best team in their conference, could lose their conference championship games or maybe even lose in the first round or something like that. You never know. You never know. Um, so, yeah, what do I think? Who do I think will be the top four seeds, you know? Just the number ones. We're talking the number ones here. Um, Baylor will be a number one seed. Michigan will be a number one seed. Gonzaga, of course, will be a number one seed. Now there, now there could be something with Gonzaga if they end up losing in the WCC tournament. Maybe who knows? But I doubt that. I think Gonzaga will be the number one overall seed. And then I believe that Illinois. You know, because, you know, they have some big matchups, you know, this week and next week as well. Illinois taking on Michigan tomorrow. It'll be a big one there. Uh, but I believe Illinois could be, you know, that, that team to, you know, team to beat. You know, I think Illinois could be that last number one seed. And there are some teams that I think that could, you know, play their way into a number four seed. Florida State. I've been saying that for weeks now. Florida State could be a number four seed. I think Texas could lose theirs. I think Wisconsin's not going to get a number four seed. They might get like a five or six seed or something like that. You know, teams like teams like that that are very inconsistent. You know, Missouri too, very inconsistent. I don't. I don't think they deserve a top four seed. At all, Tennessee as well, very inconsistent. Don't think they deserve a top seed. What about, you know, teams of the bubble, though? What about teams like Duke, North Carolina, Michigan State? Okay, maybe not Kentucky. You know, teams like those. And also teams from small conferences that have very good records like Belmont, you know. Or, um, yeah, you know, like Belmont or Winthrop. You know, teams like those that have very good records, you know, but what if they lose, you know, in their conference tournaments? Well, I think those two teams, Belmont and Winthrop, should definitely get a tournament spot. If not, that's going to be crazy. Um, so what about the replacement teams? You know, again, I'm thinking that teams like Michigan State, you know, Colorado State, I've seen them somewhere on multiple occasions. You know, teams like those could be replacing some teams if they, you know, are unable to participate due to COVID. In the NCAA tournament. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be one hell of a week. You know, we got conference tournaments starting all week long. There's going to be plenty of basketball. It's going to be a fun two weeks.